Imam Ali alayhi salam and why was he named Ali by Kisa Kids Publication. It was a peaceful Friday morning in the month of Rajab as the sun rose up, gleaming upon the palm trees. All of a sudden, the silence was broken by the cries of a woman as she struggled towards the Holy Kaaba. It was Fatima bint Asad. She was crying out in pain as her unborn child was ready to enter the world. As she reached the Kaaba, she leaned against its walls and whispered, O oh Allah! I ask you to please help me for the sake of Prophet Ibrahim salam, who built this Kaaba. Please make the birth of this child easy for me. All of a sudden, there was a thunderous noise as the back wall of the Kaaba cracked open, making way for Fatima bint Asad to enter inside. As soon as she entered, the walls of the Kaaba quickly closed behind her. The key holders of the Kaaba watched in awe as this scene unfolded right in front of them. One of the key holders ran to the front and tried to unlock the Kaaba, but no matter how hard he tried, the doors would not open. Their eyes widened as they all realized that a miracle from Allah was taking place right before their eyes. News of this miracle quickly traveled all over the city of Mecca as women in their homes and men in the streets whispered about what had happened. You see, Fatima, she was still inside the Kaaba. How did this event happen? How come the Kaaba doors opened for her and her baby? How would she survive without food and water? Why did this happen? The villagers were bursting with questions. Three days passed and Fatima bint Asad finally emerged from the Kaaba, holding a newborn baby in her arms. The villagers were instantly drawn to this beautiful baby and began gathering around Fatima to get a closer look. Their curiosity got the best of them and they all began shouting their questions at once. One man asked, Why did you enter the Kaaba to give birth? She responded, Allah chose me and called me into his home so that my child may be born in the Kaaba. A woman asked, What did you eat for three whole days? She answered with a smile, Allah sent me delicious food from the heavens during these three days. This reply only increased their curiosity. They began wondering, Who is this baby? Why would Allah send his mother food from the heavens? How did the walls open just for her? An elderly man emerged from the crowd and asked, Does this newborn have a name? Fatima bint Asad replied, Yes, his name is Ali. This was the name given to him by Allah. While I was in the Kaaba, an angel came and said to me, O oh Fatima, Allah has said to name this child Ali. This is from one of his own names, Al-Ali Al-Ahla, the highest of the high. This answer, answer shocked the villagers. Another man asked, Why is this child different from others? Why has he come into the world in this special way? And why did Allah choose his name? Fatima bint Asad, who was a believer in Allah, answered, This child is special because he will be one of the first to announce the belief in one God. He will get rid of the idols and invite people towards Allah. The people of Mecca were idol worshippers at that time, so they were not happy with Fatima's answer. Many of them began shaking their heads as they walked away. When Fatima arrived home, she was greeted happily by her husband, Abu Talib, who joyfully took the baby boy into his arms. Abu Talib thanked Allah and began asking his wife about what had happened. After listening to his wife's story, he felt honored to have such a special child. As the day turned into night, Abu Talib and his wife Fatima journeyed to the desert of Abta to thank and pray to Allah for their beautiful baby. They walked and walked until they reached a place where no one could see them. 
Abu Talib held his son in his arms and cried out, O Allah, the greatest, you created the darkness of the night and brightness of the moon. Tell me, what is the wisdom behind this child's name? Suddenly the clouds gathered and the wind started blowing ferociously. Abu Talib tightly clutched his son as they were suddenly surrounded by a great storm. Then, just as it came out of nowhere, the storm stopped and Abu Talib headed back home with his wife and son, puzzled by what had just happened. When they reached home, Abu Talib found baby Ali salam clutching a divine note in his tiny hand that read, We have blessed you with a pure and great child. His name is Ali, which means the high. This name has been chosen for him because he has a high position in the eyes of Allah. Tears filled Abu Talib's eyes as he fell into sujood and thanked Allah for this great blessing. As the sun rose the following morning and people gathered around the Kaaba, they couldn't help but notice how the crack in the Kaaba almost seemed to be smiling. O oh Allah, send your peace and blessings upon Imam Ali alayhi salam, the high who showed the highest levels of taqwa and akhlaq. Taqwa means being God conscious and guarding oneself against that which Allah has forbidden. Make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to share.